Best YouTube upload settings. So make it easier on you. Hey, I'm Adam Braxis, your business video tutor. I'm going to walk you through the best default YouTube upload settings. This will ease the process of every time you upload a video, making sure that the settings are all optimized in order to help you, help your business be promoted and keep the workload down to a minimum. Let's get on the screen and check this out. All right, here I am, YouTube Creator Studio. You get here by clicking on your profile and it'll open a drop down box for Creator Studio. The first thing we're looking at is under channel. And from there, in order to be able to do a lot more with your, uh, with your customizations, you want to make sure that the uh, channel is verified and you want to make sure everything is in good standing. So monetization, I can bother with any of that. And all of this, we don't need to deal with anymore. We want to go to upload defaults. Now here is one of the most important things. Number one, privacy. Always have your video set automatic to private. This means when you upload the video, no one can see it and it gives you the chance to check the video uh, or add annotations or any edits that you might need uh, before the world sees the video. It can be kind of annoying if you do release a video and you're fortunate to get a lot of people watching it right away and you don't have certain links set up or whatever it is that you might need to fix up on there. Secondly, category. Not the most important, however, if you do want to have a category, you know, if you're obviously a mechanic or you're going to do stuff that's funny, generally how-to and style is going to be enough or people and blogs. I like how-to because I'm doing tutorials. If you're showing people how to do things, keep it in how-to. License, standard YouTube license. You don't want to bother with it in the rest of this right now. And as for title, here's something you might want to do. Always have your title end with your branding. In my case, it would be businessvideotutor.com or just business video tutor. Now, every video I upload, it'll automatically have that. And then I can just click in here and then add my keywords um, and actual title. Do a little hyphen or something. But I know that it will always end with my branding. If your title is going to be a little too long, then omit the, the branding, but at least you have that set up. Same goes in the description. All of my descriptions will always point to the website and a little bit about other places where we can be reached. So have all of your social networks and any other websites you work with written in this description automatically. Write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash before your website that will make that website linkable so that it can just be clicked on and it will uh, become blue and or highlighted in some way and you have this set up in your description at all times you might want to add a little bit more in there um, keywords that describe your business and it relieves you of some of the extra work that you'll need to do when writing in the description every single video. Now with tags, the only thing I don't like with doing with tags is that the tags that are written in there will be the first tags under each video. I prefer that the first tags are always the keywords associated to that video. So if I have a tag in here that I know I'm going to write in every single one of my, um, I would probably have business video tutor as a tag for every single video. I put a comma and that now separates that's one tag and then anything else I write will be in the next tag. But when I go to type in new tags, all of those tags will be underneath business video tutor and anything else that I write here so that I just have to go and delete those other tags, write in the most important tags. And then so basically skip default tags. Just don't bother with it. Comments and ratings. Yeah, just allow video language, English, unless otherwise. Uh, keep your location and video statistics. This is just if you want to hide how many views a video has had. In my case right now, the video views are very small. You might want to unclick that 
because if someone sees that a, a video has only had you know five views, they might be less likely to watch it, thinking that if nobody else has watched it, why should they want to watch it? Uh, I don't care so much. I know that I'm building this site totally from scratch without marketing it. So it's just going to be a small amount. That's what it is. But the most important thing, private your categories and something in the description. And then make sure you save it. All right. And that's basically it. The only other thing that you would want to deal with, not featured content or branding for now, but in the advanced area, channel keywords. And if you want to have a key phrase, it means, you know, more than one word, put them in quotations and then everything else is separated just by a space. And that's really the most important things here for now. We'll dig into the AdWords account linking and associated website so that you can link your website in the banner at another time. But right here, this is the most important thing so that you can have a lot of this set up for you automatically and not need to deal with it later. And of course, remember to click save. All right, do you do anything different? Let me know, comment down below and tell me what I'm doing wrong, or if it's helped you, please also let me know. Share it, like it, and as always, subscribe so that every week when I share some tips with you on how to use video to leverage your business, you'll be the first to know. I'm Matt Practice, your business video tutor. Okay, this is Beam Hermer.